All right, so the equation we were asked to solve was a times five minus x equals bx minus eight, and we're gonna be solving for x. So to make this a little easier, I'm gonna rewrite it here. So a times five minus x equals bx minus eight. So in order to solve this equation for x, what we wanna do is we want to get all of the terms that have the x's on the same side of the equation and then isolate x from the rest of the stuff we've got here. So in order to do that, we have to look at what our terms are. So in this equation, we've got an a times this whole term 5 minus x in parentheses equals bx minus 8. So since this one is a subtracted term, 5 minus x, and this one is a multiplied term of b times x. In order to get the x's by themselves, we're going to have to get them all to look like multiplied terms. And what I mean by that is we're going to need to expand this. So if I expand this side of the equation, remember to expand, we're going to multiply the thing on the outside by the first term inside the parentheses. So the a times the 5. And then we're going to do it again, the a times the second term, which in this case is a minus x. So when we actually multiply that out, a times 5 is 5a. And then a times minus x is a minus ax. And then I'm going to bring down what we have here from before, bx minus 8. So now, again, our goal is to get all of the x's together. So I'm going to choose to take this ax and move it to the right side of the equation. I could also take the bx and move it over here, but I'm going to choose to do it the first way. So to undo the minus ax that we have over here, remember, since this is an equal sign, we have an equality, we have to do the same thing to both sides. So to get rid of the ax on this side, we're going to add ax. And since we did it to the left, we also have to do it to the right, plus ax. This goes away, and now we're left with 5a equals bx. I'm going to intentionally put these in a slightly different order, bx plus ax minus 8. Now the reason I rearranged the order is, in order to get the x by itself, we don't want to have two separate x's. So by putting these together, we've got two different terms that are both multiplied by x. They're kind of the same. So I'm going to put parentheses around this chunk of the equation here. And in order to get it from being two separate x's into a single x, I'm going to factor. Both of these terms have the x in common, so we can factor this as x times b plus a. That'll give us our xb plus our xa, which is the same thing, slightly different order. And now I'm just going to put in the rest of the variables we still have, 5a and our minus 8. Now, we still need to get this x by itself. If I were to divide the whole thing by b plus a to get rid of this, I'd end up dividing this minus 8 as well. We don't want that. So I'm going to take this minus 8 and get rid of it by moving it to the other side of the equation. So plus 8 on the right and plus 8 on the left. This goes away, and we're now left with 5a plus 8 equals x times b plus a. Now. If we were to divide both sides by this entire quantity here, then that entire thing goes away. Because remember, when you've got an x times something in parentheses, you can treat this entire thing as one kind of block. So take that out of the way. I'm going to now divide both sides by the quantity b plus a, b plus a, and we're left with 5a plus 8 over b plus a is equal to x. So that is our answer.
Thank you.